Hello everybody. In this tutorial I will demonstrate how to take the backup file of a TP700 Comfort Cinematic HMI touch panel. I will take the image file of the project. So you can look at the HMI. Well, this is an HMI of a water spray system at our facility. So I will actually take the image file of the HMI. You can look at the back side of the HMI. It is a TP700 Comfort model that belongs to Siemens family. And this HMI is actually connected to as S7-1200 PLC, right? So it's taking the values from the Siemens, uh, PLC program and displaying it on the HMI. So it's important for us to take the backup of the Siemens HMI. So I will connect my Ethernet cable to the touch panel and I will connect the other side of the cable with my PC because that has the soft software through which I am going to take the backup. So it is the Sematic Pro Cell Pro, uh, software. I will open up the device type and uh, over here I will search for TP700 Comfort. Let me find it. Well, it has a wide variety of the touch panels. So I will select the TP700 Comfort and then I will select the media through which I am going to fetch the project or the image file from the Sematic HMI. Well, before doing that, since I have connected an Ethernet cable, I will I wish to establish an Ethernet connection with the HMI. So I must know about the IP address of the HMI. If I don't know, let me go to the TIE portal and I will go to the online accessible devices. It will help me get the IP address of the Sematic HMI. Since my PG is connected to the Sematic HMI, it will definitely establish an Ethernet connection with the HMI and will fetch the IP address just like here I'm going to show you if I go online and click on the start search button it will fetch the IP address of the online semantic HMI from here I will note the IP address of the HMI and will enter this HMI address into the Sematic ProSav software so that my Sematic uh, ProSav software fetches the image file from the touch panel. So I will go to the Start menu. I will click uh, on the Sematic Pro Cell. and uh, over here it's already TP700 Comfort. So I will put up my IP address. By my IP address, I mean the IP address of the Sematic HMI. Then I will go to the backup and will select a destination where I'm going to store the image file. I will, for, demonst uh, for demonstration, I will store it on the desktop and I will give it a name and I will start the backup. <coughs> you can see that the backup fetching has failed so I will go back and I will change the connection mode to the profi net slash industrial ethernet 
still it is giving an error so the next step is to go to the setting of the PGPC interface in control panel right so I will go to the set PGPC interface and over here I will select the active connection interface that is the TCP IP auto mode and uh, I click OK now if I am taking the backup it will be a success it will not issue an error start backup now the link has been established between the PG and HMI and it will start to take the image file of uh, the HMI right since it take a while I will pause the video and once it is completed I will get back to you Well, the backup has been taken and uh, if you look at the desktop, the backup file has been stored here and uh, you must remember that the backup file, the image file of a semantic HMI TB700 Comfort is in BRF extension, right? Is the file type. So that's the procedure to take the backup. If you have any questions regarding this, you can definitely ask me in the comment section. Thank you.